quick review of um, sequences and patterns. Okay, so um, this is everything you need to know for the junior cert higher level course. Um, the first thing we're going to have a look at is linear sequences. Okay, so linear S E Q U E N C E. And sometimes, and at Leaven Cert, this will be renamed an arithmetic sequence. Okay, so what is a linear arithmetic sequence? So I'll give you an, an example. Okay. So here we have a sequence of numbers. Sequences are always separated from a by commas, kind of like a list in computer science. So each of these is a term, okay, in the sequence. Okay, and each of these terms has a position. So this is term one capital T, sub one, and it's in position one, okay? It's in the first position. This would be term four, and it'd be in the fourth position, okay? And that'll be come in later on when you need it. So how do we know it's a linear sequence? Well, to check if something is linear, all you have to do is find the difference between the two numbers. So how does 12 become 9? Well, the, on a number line, the distance between them will be 3. So you're taking away 3. Okay? And then check, does that same rule apply to the next two terms that are beside each other? And of course it does. You're taking away 3, and you're taking away 3. And we call this the first difference. Okay? And if the first difference is the same, then this is a linear sequence. So that's how you know. Now, you can get a general formula that allow you to predict any term in a linear sequence or an arithmetic sequence. So there's a general formula for this. And that's the TN formula. So TN, which would be your nth term, fourth, fifth, seventh, ninth term, is equal to A plus, now in the log tables, it has a bracket with an n minus one and a d after the bracket. But there's no reason that you can't put the d in front. And I like to put the d in front because it makes more sense. Okay, so what does this formula mean? Well, this will always be the first term in your sequence. This will always be the difference that you've figured out. And the n, these n's represent the term you want. The term you want. So if I want the fifth term, I'd sub substitute in five there with the corresponding a and the d. So if I look at this sequence, the first number in the sequence is 12, so a would be 12. The difference is minus three, and let's say I want to find the 12th term. Now I could do it with a calculator, but let's say the 120th term. That would take a bit longer on a calculator. Well, that's just going to be the first term plus the difference times the number I want minus one. Okay, and just let your calculator do the heavy lifting here. 12 plus in a bracket minus three times 120 minus one. Minus 345 is the 120th term in this sequence. So that's how you, um, that's how you check and how you deal with linear sequences or arithmetic sequences as they are called, okay? And in a lot of the, a lot of the higher level papers, this will be called, this TN formula will be called the nth, N-T-H, nth term. So this is the formula for the nth term. Now, you are expected, you are expected to be able to concate this formula. So I'll, I'll do a, another example and just kind of show you what I mean, okay? So let's have a look at a sample here. So let's say you have seven, 11, 15, 19, that keeps going on. Let's work out the nth term of that. So the first term is A, which is seven. The difference I can see it goes up by four each time. So the difference is four. So let's pop them into our nth formula. 
tn is equal to 7 plus 4 times n minus 1. Now, you can't leave it like that at a higher level. You're expected to multiply out the bracket, and then you're expected to tidy it up so you only have a variable with a coefficient, and if there is a number, there's a number. So in this case, it would be 4n plus 3. So the nth formula for this sequence would be 4n plus 3. 4 times a number plus 3. So obviously the first term is 4 times 1 plus 3. The second term is 4 times 2 plus 3, and so on and so forth. Okay? So that's a linear sequence. Now, at junior cert, higher level, we also come across non-linear sequences, and we call these quadratic sequences. Okay? Now, I'm going to show you a quadratic sequence, and then see for yourself how it works. Okay? 3, 10, 21, and 36. So, First of all, we'll check that it's quadratic. So how do we know if something's quadratic? Well, we already know how if something is linear, the first difference will be the same. So let's just check this. 3 take away 10 gives you 7. 10 take away 21 gives you 11. And 21 take away 36 gives you 15. So as you can see, the first difference is not the same so it's definitely not linear so we go once more we look now to the second difference so take these away four take these away four so as you can see the second difference is the same and there's your check to make sure that it is in fact quadratic now once you know that's quadratic how do we figure out a formula okay well in the log tables, it doesn't give you the formula, the, the general formula, the nth term formula for a quadratic. But obviously, you all know that a quadratic always has to be in the form of ax squared plus bx squared plus c. We won't use x, we'll use n because they tend to use n a lot here. So it's always going to be in the form of an squared plus bn plus c, where a, b, and c are particular numbers that we need to figure out. Okay, so how do we figure it out? We figure out the A first, okay? And that's very easy. The A is always going to be equal to the second difference divided by 2. So in this case, it's going to be 4 over 2. So A is equal to 2, okay? So once we know that, we're now going to figure out how to generate the B and the C. So I'm going to show you two methods of doing this, okay? The first method I've already started and I'll follow this through and then I'll sh show you. So what have we got? We have now have the TN formula where we have 2N squared plus BN plus C. Now we need to figure out B and C. So what we're going to do is, we're going, we know what the first term is, it's 3. So the first term is 3. So let's substitute 1 in to see what formula gives me 3. Well, that's 2 times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c, and I know that gives me 3. So there, I'm just going to rearrange this. That's going to be 2 plus b plus c is 3. That means b plus c is 1. So there's a little formula for me, and I'm going to do the same thing with 2. Second term, I know it's 10. So 2 times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c gives me 10. So that's 2, 2 to 4. That's 8 plus 2b plus c is 10. That means 2b plus c is 2. So there you can see I have two formulas. They're simultaneous, so I can just solve for b and c just using these. Make the bottom, top line all minuses, cancel b is equal to 1, and obviously if b is equal to 1, c is equal to 0. So now I have everything I need. So my tn formula now is going to be 2n squared plus n, 1 times n is n, 
and c is zero. So there it is, my formula. Now I'm gonna check that I'm right. How am I gonna check that I'm right? Well, the fourth term is 36. So I'm gonna pop in two times two, sorry, delete that, two times four squared plus four, and that is 36. So that's how you check a, a, a quadratic sequence and how you do, do it. It's not the hardest, it's not the easiest. There are other ways of doing it, but I find that if you just follow this method, you'll always get it right, okay?